Please welcome to the stage the GOAT, respectfully, LeBron James. Oh, wow. Um, I just want to start off, first of all, by thanking my beautiful and amazing wife, Savannah. Um, <laughs> if any of y'all know her, I know there's a few people in here that know her. Y'all know she don't ever do shit like this, ever. <laughs> and uh, the fact that I'm loving it, that y'all get to see the queen that I be with every day, um, kudos to you, baby. No, for our family, no one has sacrificed more and more hard work to support this family than you, and uh, I appreciate you for that. I love you. Uh, also want to thank my beautiful three kids, uh, Bronnie, Bryce, and Zuri. I mean, it means so much uh, to me to have you guys here up on stage. Um, I've been here over my 20 years on this stage uh, a few times, uh, but this one uh, is really damn special. Um, all I can say is just thank you guys for being amazing kids, all three of you. Um, the greatest blessing in my life. Um, to my mother who's not here, Gloria, um, that's my goat. That's my goat. Uh -oh, thank you. Uh, tonight I want to use this moment to just say something um, that I've said a million times and I would never get sick of talking about it. I love this game. I love the game of basketball. Uh, there's a video going around right now on the internet of me coaching Bryce's team last weekend, and it's, uh, it's actually pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> I saw a lot of posts with people talking about how LeBron brings the energy to a high school AAU game the same way he would do to a finals game. And to me, that's like the ultimate uh, compliment. Uh, in my 20 years playing this game, and in all the years before, um, I've never, ever cheated the game. And I would never take it for granted. Every time I step foot on the floor, either coaching my boys or playing, I'm gonna give it everything. I'll do it for myself, I'll do it for some of my teammates that I've had before and now, and i do it for all the greats that came before me. And more importantly, and most importantly, I do it for the fans, the lovers of the game. <laughs> Listen, you can, you can love me, and I, and I know some of you hate me as well, but the one thing you will always do um, is, res is respect me and appreciate uh, the way I approach the game and what I've given to this game. Um, thank you. I'm so proud of these two men standing right behind me tonight. See, they're on their own basketball journey. And no matter how far they choose to go, they're not cheating this game. And that inspires me. When the season ended, um, I said I wasn't sure if I was going to keep playing. And I know a lot of experts told you guys what I said, but I'm here now speaking for myself. In that moment, I'm asking myself if I can still play without cheating the game. Can I give everything to the game still? Truth is, I've been asking myself this question at the end of the season for a couple years now. I just never openly talked about it. I don't care how many more points I score or what I can or cannot do on the floor. The real question for me is, can I play without cheating this game? The day I can't give the game everything on the floor is the day I'll be done. Lucky for you guys, that day is not today. <laughs> and you know what brings me back every year? is watching and coaching my boys and their teammates. See, I see those kids and it brings me right back to why I play. Those kids get me back to where, like, where I need to be, just the pure love of this beautiful game. So yeah, I still got something left, a lot left. I love you all and thank you so much.
for watching this journey so far. Oh, one last thing. I got one more thing to say. Uh, I want to say congratulations to my sister, Asia Wilson, on winning the WNBA Best Player ESPY. And y'all make sure y'all get out there and support those beautiful women and what they do. God bless y'all. Love y'all. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.